All right, so this one talks about the various text address Venice Bismuth in uh, Mandeville that um, are going through the COVID-19 epidemic. So taxi drivers, vendors, and businesses in this, the south central town, and many others island wide bemoan the harsh impact of the, novel, the COVID-19 on the livelihood. All right, and there's some quotes which I'm not really going to talk about. It's um, a, random, um, a random tax operator said that he and his colleagues don't spend most of the time was already unusual clear streets with various few passengers in sight. Another quote I'll skip over. He believes the government's one less passenger requirements upon its control of spread of COVID-19. And he basically is saying that they should have that they, um, that their government is messing up the messing up their money. I can understand both points. I mean the government um whatever criticisms they have of whichever government's in power, at least they're trying to stop the spread of this um but i understand that the taxi people have to eat so yeah i can understand their point the taxi operators said that they adhere to the health practice by sanitizing their vehicles regularly and washing their hands frequently all right and another taxi driver who said that he's worried that he's not able to take care of his children all right all right and he said that one of his other colleagues who plays the mandeville to knock patrick road said the suspension of face his class at northern caribbean university has affected the road significantly. All right. With markets now open all out from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. daily, one vendor who then sells identifies as Miss Pearl said that she's resort to street vending because uh, basically her main source of income is messed up. All right. The slowdown business in Mandeville has resulted in a popular Chinese owned restaurant, Manchester Road Church, in doors last week because a lot of people point fingers at the Chinese community for this virus, no doubt. All right, a neighboring Chinese haberdash is also closed. Another Chinese establishment, whole supermarket, which remained open up to last week, late last week, instituted a thermal temperature checkpoint for all customers. Other stores have been spraying sanitizer and alcohol hands on the customers before allowing them to enter, which is understandable and, and smart thing to do. But all I can say is all people who are being affected, levels of being affected, I feel for you, I mean. Because virus really has messed things up. And bear in mind, things were not rosy prior to this. So this is making things even less rosier. So all I say is hopefully things will look up. That this virus will be destroyed. So people, and that hopefully things can improve even beyond the COVID-19 epidemic. That's all I have to say. So my prayers are out. If we can help these people, despite that we're all under siege, let's see if we can do something. So this is our state of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my other YouTube pages. Miles Goodson Friend and Miles Productions. Okay.